So I just, I've been working on the back of the house on the siding and I came around to the front to get a few more pieces. And then I saw some trash. I thought I'm gonna run inside and throw it away in the new trash can. So I'm gonna reenact what I saw. <laughs> They've gotten all the walls primed. Wow. And they're starting to get a lot of painting done. So here we go, some color on the walls. It just boldly jumped out at me. It was uh, a big surprise and it looks nice. Every trip up the ladder is a journey now. Not such a short walk anymore. But I just have this one triangle. I gotta, it's probably gonna take two more pieces of siding after this one. <laughs> well, it's not quite done, but the siding is, I just have to finish doing those fascia boards. So that's a lot what it <laughs> so that's a lot like what it's gonna be when I get done. Well, I was working on the siding, but a couple families decided to come to the river this afternoon so I wanted to make sure I didn't miss out <laughs> and it's a necessity right I mean I was gonna say in the middle of July but actually it's the first of August now and so don't be frustrated about how long it takes me to get a video over to y'all <laughs> we walked up earlier and got the stream full of mud so it was difficult to see but it looks like it's mostly cleared up now I saw some fish, just little small fish, but I can't find them now. We're up here looking at the raccoon prints a little bit ago. All those little feet. Thank you. 
It's a beautiful place to be on a hot summer day. When it's in the 90s, you dunk in here and you feel like you're in the 80s or 70s. <laughs> right now it's ankle deep. But I know a little further here it gets down to waist deep. When you're walking along, it's fun to look at all the rocks <laughs> and see if you can find something really neat. Um, so far I haven't found anything neat, but when you pull it out of the water, it looks shiny and beautiful. And then later, if you take it home and it dries, it just turns like brown. <laughs> but, uh, I still keep looking to see if you just find something unique. Last time we were here, we found a couple pieces of uh, glass that had been in the river long enough that it had, it had smoothed all the edges. Thick pieces of glass, so kind of like, I guess, uh, I guess they call it sea glass when you find that in the ocean. Oh. I kind of can't see where I'm stepping, so looking down almost doesn't help. moving the sheep this afternoon and I'm noticing more mushrooms. This looks like it's in the same family of what I've been looking at, the giant bolette. And there's more over here. One, two, three, four. And I already turned one over just a minute ago. So that'd be five right here in the same area. There we go, that spongy texture. And uh, something I read said it can slowly turn uh, blue when bruising. So this is looking promising. Oh, kinda hurt my knee earlier. There's the other one I was looking at. I think I'm gonna take this and do a spore print to see uh, if it's got any red. I don't think it's gonna have any red. The cap makes it seem like it could, but I have a feeling maybe this one is the one I've been looking for. <laughs> I don't know. Trying to learn about it. This mushroom makes me more nervous than some of the others I've tried. You can see my fingerprint bruises on that. Not really blue. This one, I'm not sure that's blue either. Here's some more I didn't even see. This one is getting kind of moldy. Oh, even this one has a little bit of mold on it. Ah, oh, something's been in here eating this one. All the drought that we've been having, and then all of a sudden, lots of rain has just had all the mushrooms bursting out everywhere. So here's some right here, different kind. I don't even know what these are. Wow, <laughs> it's just, you know, God's nature is just beautiful. That is just amazing. Whether it's edible or not, it's just a meal for the eyes, I guess you could say. So beautiful. <laughs> 